Article one of the Constitution gives all legislative power to Congress. Both houses consider the bill, and if it passes both houses with a majority, it goes to the president to sign. If the president signs it, it becomes the law of the land. And that's the traditional way that the framers of the Constitution viewed the way that law should be made. Today, the vast majority of lawmaking is done by federal agencies, not by Congress. For instance, over the last five years, Congress has passed about 700 public laws. Federal agencies, by contrast, have enacted nearly 14,000 final rules. Where do these agencies come from? Are they in the Constitution themselves? And the answer is yes and no. The Constitution doesn't name these agencies that we have, but the Constitution does give Congress the power to create agencies through legislative action. And so the way that agencies are created is Congress passes a statute, uh, identifies something that needs to be addressed, and then creates an agency through that statute to implement what Congress has designed. The Administrative Procedure Act establishes the default procedures that agencies have to follow when they regulate, as well as the standards that courts have to use when they're reviewing that, that agency action. If you look just at the Constitution, you would see three branches of government. The President has the power to execute or implement the law. Congress makes the laws and the judiciary judges or adjudicates disputes. But how are it actually works today is there's the federal agencies that are oftentimes called the fourth branch uh, that exercise a type of all three of those powers. Uh, they exercise legislative-like powers through rulemaking, through creating laws that bind all of us. Uh, they exercise executive power because they're the, they're the agencies that are executing the president's agenda. Uh, and they also adjudicate. The fact that federal agencies have so much power and exercise power that looks executive and legislative and judicial all in one agency might suggest that this is unlawful or unconstitutional. After all, the framers put executive power in the executive branch with the president, put judicial power in with the courts, and the legislative power is kept with Congress, and at some point you can't just give power away to a fourth branch of government. The Supreme Court has dealt with this for decades, if not centuries, of trying to figure out what are the proper bounds of power that can be given to federal agencies. Uh, and so there are some complexities there, but at the end of the day, this is something that our democratic process has given to federal agencies in order to implement the law that Congress has passed. Now, that doesn't mean that agencies can do whatever they want. If people are not happy with the decisions, they can go back to the agency and ask them to change it. If the agency won't change it, they can also go back to Congress and start the legislative process anew and have Congress give different instructions to agencies on how to act.